Coming up in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the Divi Builder plugin. So I'll also be covering all the features and how you can use this. Now the situations where you may want to use the Divi Builder plugin is when you have your own theme that you want to use and also have the benefit of having the design aspects of the Divi Builder because Divi allows you to build awesome looking websites. So now you have the combination of the two, your own theme that you, uh, your own theme of choice and also the Divi Builder plugin. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to do this. So right now I have a basic website which is installed uh, using the default theme that comes from WordPress. In fact, let me just show you what that looks like. So this is the default theme. Now I recommend using a theme like Astra because it provides you with the full width options which gives your plugin flexibility when you design your websites. The other themes don't actually give you that ability to design your websites full width. Okay, so to install the theme, it's uh, very straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here to appearance, click on themes. Now this theme is also available for free. So you can download it by just searching for Astra. And then this is what comes up. You just click on install. And then once it's finished installing, all you have to do is activate like that. Now in an instant, I'll show you quickly what, what the site looks like. So you can see now that this has changed but this was going to allow you to do quite a lot of things in terms of designing your website. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is to come over here to Elegant Themes. Now, Divi is a paid membership, so you do have to have a, uh, an account or a paid membership in order for you to download this. So as you can see here in my account, this is my members area. We have Divi, and this is what a lot of people use. This is just the theme. So this is a combination of the theme, the theme and the plugin. But we also have a standalone plugin here, which we are going to be installing today. So all you have to do is to come over here to download, click on download, and that gets downloaded straight to your computer. Now, the next thing you want to do is to make sure you have your API key, because by entering your API key, it makes it easier for you to get updates when Divi pushes, up, uh, pushes out all the updates. So I'm going to come over here to account, API key, and then I'm going to copy my API key. So we're done now with the members area. We might as well just go ahead and close that. So back over here, the next thing we need to do now is to install the DV Builder plugin. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new, upload plugin. So now we just have to navigate to the folder where we downloaded our plugin. So it's gonna be in my downloads folder and here it is right here at the top. I'm gonna to click on install now. Okay, so now it has installed we can go ahead now and activate the plugin. Excellent, so now you can go ahead and start building your pages. So if I come over here to pages and click on add new, so I could just say home. Now we have the ability to use the Divi Builder. And because I recommended this, uh, this theme, now over here on the right, we can do quite a few things. We can actually uh, set this page not to have a sidebar. We can set it to be boxed, content boxed, full width contained, and so on. So let's say you wanted to add full width stretched like that. This is going to allow us to make our designs edge to edge, which is really, really good because by doing that, you get the full benefits of Divi. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and publish. And then we're gonna go in and see what we can do with the Divi Builder. So I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder, and then we're gonna go to the Visual Builder. So at first I was curious to see if um, the plugin offered all the uh, features that the theme had. And uh, I mean, to my surprise, all the features are actually there. So when you first installed uh, the Divi uh, Builder or even Divi, you get this tool. So you can also go through this step-by-step -step and find out how it works. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Start Building. The Divi Builder plugin is amazing because it has all the features that Divi theme has. So for example, let's say you want to add your pre-made layouts. So if we come over here to Expand Settings, click this plus button, we can see here that all our pre-made layouts are loaded. So you can go ahead and choose the one that you want. So let's say I click on coffee shop. I can load this layout. And within a few seconds, this layout will be loaded onto our page and we can go in and customize our website. The Divi Builder plugin is built on a responsive fluid grid, which means all your layouts will be fully responsive and they will look beautiful on tablets and mobile devices. So all the features here we have, you can also save all your layouts to your library and all that good stuff. 
So um, right now I can see this uh, page title is quite annoying. So let me show you how to get rid of that. So I'm just going to exit the Visual Builder here. Click on Edit Page. And then if I come over here, I can actually disable the title by just clicking this checkbox. Click Update. And then now if I go back to my website, we will see that this layout is quite different. There we go. So if you're sitting on the sidelines with your theme and we're wondering how to use uh, Divi with your favorite theme, of course, you can go ahead and download the Divi theme. Your membership that you have right now for Divi will allow you to download even other plugins as well as the Divi Builder plugin. So go ahead, give it a try. It's very simple to install. And as I mentioned earlier on, you will have all your features. So go ahead and use Divi plugin with your other themes. Thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time I release new videos. Until next time, take care.